imagination, and we have to pay for them to drop everything to do this. So, while the 2009 racing season is underway, as of today, uh, we need everybody to show that they are committed to this. Uh, we have to have good meets. It would be fabulous to have horses that we have no stalls for and get back to where we were about five years ago. So you need to call everybody you know. You need to harangue them, you need to harass them, and you need to show the public that this is a good thing to do. Uh, from an economic standpoint, for a horse population, a horseman, I can tell you, as an economist, I clearly understand everything that we need to know about the economic impact that the horse track and you bring to Fort Erie. What you need to understand is nobody else does. They don't see the impact of 300 or 325 million dollars being spent. They don't understand how eight to 10 horses need a million dollars in revenue to move on. They don't see you as small business units taking risk and supporting your families. They need to convey that message to people so that we build up the support in the community and once again, for how important this is in terms of the fabric of Fort Erie. So, that being said, that's about it, and we are open for questions to anybody, including to Leslie, of course, who's still on the phone. After all that, the bottom line is, when are we going to be able to move into the track and start these horses and train? Get up, Mike. Sue, you want to answer that? Uh, I think I heard the question, when the track is going to open for training? Yep. Yeah. Um, we did have conversations late yesterday, around 6 o'clock, with... Uh, uh, management at Nordic regarding that situation. They are going to get back to me this morning. There will be an update on the HBPA website later today uh, confirming the date. Uh, my best guess right now will be probably sometime the last week of March. They, you know, they've got to hire their employees back. They've got to get the staff back right now. And, and that's going to be a process, and especially if some people have moved on to other occupations and aren't available, and then they've got to get the track open and work in a few days, make sure it's safe, and then we'll get going. But they did commit to me yesterday that they will do that ASAP. Check our, keep checking our website, uh, everyone, several times a day. I'll make sure that everyone keeps updated through that dinner. Thank you. Just so I understand, this is the first time you've been You've got 90 days to convince someone to lend you $35 million. And you've got the only business that's worth being financed by that business? Yes. <laughs> 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 um, how is it different? How is it different? Well, it, it really isn't different. What happens is, It's all a question of how you make the arguments. I mean, what, what everybody has to appreciate here is that the thoroughbred, well, the racing industry in, in Ontario has really not been able to uh, be a business in its own right, profit loss, supply demand, since about 1995. The province of Ontario came in and came up with a solution uh, which tied it to the Lottery Corporation and the Racino model for slots. So, it's just a question of how much money do we have to come up with, who's willing to support what, and what benefit there is out there. And so we have to convince people that we have a business plan that will be a solution for Fort Erie, or at least contribute to the long-term <coughs> solution, and we just can't come back in and put it on the back of the province and put it on the back of Nordic. So, what we're looking for is ideas and opportunities that perhaps people haven't looked at before. We know, for instance, I mean, there's a million things we can talk about. We know, for instance, that it takes about half a million dollars to get the track ready. Why can't we, why can't we look at horsemen volunteering to do some of that? Is there anything that they can do? We know that there are some great ideas out there. We have five more this morning that seem to make sense to me uh, that could be employed. But we know that there's a partnership that we're hoping to form uh, with uh, with uh, Woodbine. Um, however, uh, we've had no right to talk to them yet because we haven't been in equity until today. 
So we're looking forward to a, to a meeting with Mr. Wilmot uh, when Sue can arrange that. Um, we are both not-for-profit, so there's no longer a case where Woodbine as a not-for-profit is dealing with uh, a private sector owner, ownership group like, like Norton. We don't know if that's good or bad, but at least it's different. So we think there's a lot of different things that can happen. In addition, uh, there's nobody going to give uh, a private sector business uh, dollars for capital investment. Well, not-for-profits like, like ourselves will have the opportunity to um, employ and request things from the Trillium Foundation, OLG, from other things. Um, the other thing is, just because it's not-for-profit, don't get it in your head that that doesn't mean we can't make money. Doesn't mean <laughs> it, it, it really, really what happens is not-for-profit is not really the proper way to put it. It's a non-share capital corporation is really the technical term for it. So it means we're not really a business bent to make money for profit. We would make money and put it back into the industry. That's the difference. So uh, where we don't have shareholders that are demanding, let's say, uh, you know, a ninety dollar, ninety cents a share uh, dividend, we'll take that money and put it into new barns. We'll take that money and put it into a new stadium, a new grandstand. We will put that money into uh, uh, programs to uh, promote. The horse racing industry in Port Erie and to promote more people coming there and, and people getting engaged in the horse racing industry. So there's a lot of things that people would be willing to support us on that they wouldn't normally be attracted to by a private sector business. So we think the big difference is it's different. We have a different approach 